Okay, 10 years ago, uh, if you took a poll, what was the major concern of people losing confidence in Mormonism? Probably the top thing would have been problems with the Book of Abraham. In today's world, if you took that poll, I think you would find the majority of people questioning Mormonism are struggling with the concept of Joseph's polygamy. Not that they didn't know about polygamy before, but they didn't have the awareness of polyandry. And polyandry is a woman having more than one husband. <laughs> the Doctrine and Covenants, section 132, that told Joseph he could take 10 virgins, says virgins. If there's nothing in it that gives allowance for Joseph marrying married women. And yet even the church admits on their website, on their gospel topics essays on uh, Nauvoo polygamy, they admit that Joseph had, first they admit he had 30 to 40 plural wives. They admit that 12 to 14 of them had living husbands. That's a third of his wives had other husbands. So if one is going to argue that polygamy was ta to take care of uh, poor uh, women that had no other chance of getting married or widows or whatever, no. There was no reason to take these 12 to 14 women. And the fact that they would say 12 to 14 tells me it's 14. Um, but there's no justification even in the revelation for this because it says if a man has 10 virgins, not if he just has 10 wives or women. Uh, some of the husbands knew, some didn't. Some were Mormons, some weren't. Uh, some, the wife stayed with the man even after Joseph's death, but then they went on and married Brigham Young or Heber C. Kimball or somebody, and it just, it becomes this, um, I don't know, sort of a free-for-all on <laughs> who you're married to, but they don't have a good reason for Joseph marrying married women, and because of that, as the awareness of that has grown, it has caused a lot of disturbance to Mormons when they've read about this and become aware of it because they realize it, is not, it isn't even by Mormon standard approved in the Doctrine and Covenants. So I'd say the average Mormon doesn't know they had married women as wives. And when they do, they just have to say, uh, well, God will work it all out. And I said, well, yeah, God will work everything out, you know, but that, that doesn't make it right. 